Hi everyone, welcome back to the T-Boosting Protocol series. Well, now today we are about to embark on the fascinating journey of level 4. But before we dive into the cutting edge science, let's quickly take a moment to recap levels 1, 2, 3. As always guys, our guiding principle for all these levels and all the steps inside the levels is to monitor your total T and free T levels every 3 months. And depending on those results, that will determine whether you move forward to the next step slash level or whether you stay put. If there is any form of increase in your total T and free T, you usually stay put until such time that there's no increase or a negative increase. You don't even have to go and visit the doctor. In my supplements order page, you will find a link to a home testing kit that you can use for your total T and your free T. Now, what is your target level of your total T and your free T? For total T guys, it needs to be between 800 to 1070. That is where you want to be. It's a top 20% of your normal range. And for your free T is between 24 to 30. That's your target goal. So the moment that you hit that levels, you don't need to move forward with the T boosting protocols. You have reached your goal. That is the level where the male body is at its most healthy and it loses fat fairly easily and it builds muscle fairly easily. Alrighty, so let's delve into exciting level four. What sets level four apart is its departure from serious scientifically backed supplements that we discussed in level three. This is what I would like to call bleeding edge science. Yes, there are science studies out that has been done on it, but only on mice and rats. So nothing has been done on humans. And for that reason, one needs to be careful because many of these type of supplements has got serious effects on the kidney, the liver and other organs. So you need to be aware of this potential danger. It's untested, unverified. And there's definitely some dangers involved. Okay, now level four has two steps. Just two steps, guys. Step one, bulbine natalensis. I don't know if I pronounce this right. This is a South African aphrodisiac. And guys, <laughs> this has shown through the studies, and there's a couple of studies that has been done on this, to significantly increase your testosterone levels, both total and free, up to 346%, and I'm not joking you. It literally is comparable to steroids. You heard that right. So what's the problem with it? <laughs> It showed the exact same negative effects on the body that steroids has. Meaning strain on your kidneys, strain on your liver, raised cholesterol levels and so forth. It's so close to the actual steroids that I cannot advise you to use. It. Especially considering the limited science studies that has been done on humans. Well, none has been done on humans. But the prudent choice, the wise choice, might be to rather to just continue to step two in level four. But the ultimate choice remain yours. I just advise caution. Guys. If you go this route, make sure that you test your kidneys, the EGFR, and your liver, the ALT and AST, once a month to see what this is doing to your body. Now, it's quite hard to find out there, guys, but I've got the link on my supplements order page for you. Step two, your Tika Doika. Now, studies, and there's quite a few studies that has been done on this one, showed that the root of the stinging nettle, and that is what Eureka Doika is, inhibits aromatase. Now, that is an enzyme that converts your total testosterone which you don't want and it also inhibits shbg the less shbg you have the more free testosterone you have therefore guys your tikka doika plays a crucial role in preventing your testosterone conversion to estrogen and this is exactly what you want this safeguarding effect ensures healthy t levels and it's got an additional benefit which is great for us older guys it prevents prostate inflammation yeah guys so again after three months of implementing step two you will check your total t and your free t if an increase was observed you stay put you hold the line until such time that it stayed the same or it decreased now remember guys when you reach the targets that i mentioned earlier with your total t and your free t you don't continue on to the next level or next step. You, you're there. You've reached your goal. You only move on to the next step if your values is still lower than the target values. Now, guys, there were notable other contenders in this race. But only Bulbine Natalensis and Utica Doika made the grades from a science perspective. In the past, Avena Sativa, which basically is the main ingredient of oats, would have 
also made the cut, but some new science studies came out, so I removed it from this list. It showed that concentrated forms of Avena sativa actually lowers your GSH levels, and that is posing a threat to your free D levels. Now, the other containers, I'll list them for you on the screen. They had just two little signs behind them, and the studies that was done also showed two little changes in total T and free T levels. So, I cannot include them on this list. Right guys, the pinnacle of the T boosting protocols level 5 is the next video and I'll try and get it out within the next let's say two weeks. But there's more guys for those eager to get personal guidance. I offer two incredible lifestyle coaching systems. The advanced system 2 more muscle orientated and the plus system more health orientated. Just visit the coaching link in the video description box. As always guys, make informed choices and stay tuned for more insights on this empowering journey. Until next time, stay healthy. Hatlo from Cape Town signing off. Cheers everybody.